What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about something that is probably one of the most overpowered things we've ever seen in the game, and it's really just whale versus whale bait at this point. It's not something you actually need as like a free-to-play player. Uh, you can get most of the content done with everything else in the game right now, but this is a huge boost with the easter treasure train because what we have found out is we are going to be getting in the treasure train different events so we had that event with the arcane jewelry with the new game modes and everything uh we now also have festival treasures that look like they'll be happening per year and we have three brand new ones in this event so if you go to the treasure carriage you'll see you have the special search for easter 2023 you're using these new pink charm treasure coupons for easter 2023 there are three new ones and they have an up rate um actually does it actually say what the okay so they're added to the normal pool it looks like so you're pulling normal shards and you have additional chances to get whole artifacts uh, it looks like three, two, or one shards of each. Which, again, that part kind of sucks. But in this event, you can do a grand total of 30 or 300 tickets, I think. Um, so what you can get is you can get 16 of them just from doing your profit orb loops. That's kind of cool. Eight loops, two apiece. That's 16. That is just a small portion of the grand total because we have charm packages this week that are absolutely crazy. So this is a $100 pack, $20 pack. You can get a grand total of, uh, if I'm, let's just math it out to make sure the 300 is correct. So you get 25 of those times nine is 225 plus another 35 from the $20 pack puts you at 260. Like I said, you can get 16 of them from the profit orb event and then you're coming away with 24 in the Easter package for a grand total of 300. Well, that 300 is important because we have the series collection event. During the event, consume a designated number of charm treasure coupons, Easter 2023, to get rich rewards sent via mail. The event will be reset automatically and a new round will be started after all rewards are claimed. So you can do this multiple times, 100 points. But yeah, you can do it three times in total if you buy out this event. You're gonna be getting uh, three of this one, three of this one, and three of this one. And this is the one that is absolutely crazy and game-changing in whale versus whale combat. So if you go over here and we take a look at the orange ones first, they're interesting. One of them, the Easter Egg Bonsai Tree, which is kind of cool, uh, gives fixed attack and then also has an exclusive for a forest, fortress, and light faction of plus 10 speed, going all the way up to 50. Spring Garland, pretty much the same thing. Shadow, Dark Abyss, going up to 50. I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm kind of bringing this dramatic hype up because you might not have looked at these just yet, but the Easter Bunny Basket, fixed HP, fixed attack, and Transcendence Heroes get all damage dealt. Not just 4%. You're basically guaranteed to get up to 9% in this event if you buy it out because you'll get up to a 3-star uh, if you go all the way up to five star, which is disgusting, like you go from what you get two point two percent, three percent, and then you essentially get four point five percent, and then six point five percent up to twenty percent all damage dealt bonus. That is a huge boost in power, and that thing is absolutely disgusting. Like just absolutely crazy, overpowered, strong. Can you imagine Whale Wars? I mean, I think the strategy is going to be going for whoever has the extra 20% damage dealt might be the stronger one here. And uh, yeah, it might only be acquirable with these pink tickets during this event, Easter. And I think what we're going to see is in all the big holidays this year, so we have like, you know, anniversary coming up in June, probably going to have like Black Friday halloween mid-autumn festival mid-summer festival christmas new year chinese new year we're probably going to see all these things kind of taking shape here which is interesting um i don't think the regular ones i don't think these ones have them in the pool 
Nope, the only way to get them is in this pool right here. Whew. That is the thing, because those are expensive. Very, very expensive. And again, like I said, this is not really anything any normal player, even spender, should worry about. This is purely the whaliest of whales that are going for this for two things. Number one, PvP content, which, I mean, PvP content is just purely pay to win anyway so it's not something you can focus on or you should focus on there's so many good pve game modes and idle heroes you should not worry about pvp it's just not something you do but you can do plenty of things in this game free to play low spender that are pve oriented that you can get a lot of progress on this is going to be purely a whale thing and i think the other location this one especially is going to play a role in on leaderboards is probably going to be the special game modes Starland Arena, um, Celestial Force War, which it sounds like there's a change coming to that this month as well, which should be pretty cool. And then the third one is, of course, Star Expedition. That's probably the one most people care about the most because it's kind of like PvE content. Uh, it's really not PvP at all, but an additional 20% all damage dealt for your boss killers, like your Lord of Fear Aspen teams, your Fairy Queen Vesta teams, those things are going to be absolutely insane. So... I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to do all these, honestly, because I've been really skipping this on our main account. We can actually just jump over to the main accounts now that we're done kind of showing the event off. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff on our account this week, but one of them, I might as well make sure I just click that button. One of them is possibly doing this. Oh, and I feel like that's such a bad idea. I feel like that's such a bad idea, but I might do it. It feels like it's more worthwhile than going for additional heroes like even in the auction house because like if i get another hero it's legitimately there's only one other hero i care about right now and that's getting an isla mock and that's like fifty five thousand. that's legitimately what, what's the breakdown even if we do the legit if we do the legitimate means we'll say so even uh, we'll even go low 3500 or thirty five thousand because there are ones up there for thirty five thousand. you divide that by 2500 uh and then multiply by 100 so that's like 1400 bucks like you could either get this copy here or you could buy out all these packs legit you also get the really cool skin totally forgot about the skin it looks awesome i don't know it it, it just seems like a crazy amount because then even beyond just that 20 percent, you're also getting uh, buffs and you're also getting a ton of stats 21 million fixed hp 156,000 fixed attack and you're getting additional flat attack and hp boost based on the points you get which is insane as well so let me know what you guys think i will see you guys next time and maybe i'll be doing the tickets Thank you.